morning students today we are going to study about the further topic of classification of plants in 1883 a scientist uh, ichler gave a broad classification of kingdom plantae now there are variety of plants available on the earth so there is a need to classify the plants therefore we are classifying the plants under kingdom plantae kingdom plantae is divided into two types cryptogams and phanerogams now what are cryptogams those plants which do not bear seeds or flowers and fruits will be called as an cryptogams whereas phanerogam stands for those plants which have seeds so seeds will be present in phanerogams now cryptogams are again divided into three divisions thallophyta example we are going to study spirogera then bryophyta in which example moss we are going to study and the third division is pteridophyta in which we are going to study the example of fern further the phanerogams are divided into gymnosperms and angiosperms now what are gymnosperms gymnosperms are non flowering plants and the meaning of gymnosperms means naked seeds so those plants in which seeds are not enclosed in a fruit will be called as an gymnosperms example we are going to study about cycas and what are angiosperms angiosperms are those plants which are having flowers so we can also say that flowering plants are included under angiosperms here one more characteristics of angiosperm is that the seeds are enclosed in a fruit so seeds will be present in the fruit itself so in this way we have classified phanerogams into two types gymnosperms and angiosperms now angiosperms are again further divided into two types dicotyledons and monocotyledons now what is the meaning of dicotyledon dicotyledon means having two cotyledons now we can take an example of groundnut now students if you apply the pressure on the groundnut seed you will see that it gets uh, it gets broken up into two cotyledons so here this two part will be called as an cotyledon so it will come under dicot similarly in monocot if you take an example of maize if you apply may, uh, pressure on maize it will not be broken up that means it is having a single cotyledon in it so it will come under monocot Hmm. So today we had studied about the classification of kingdom plantae. Now we are going to study about the division thallophyta, which comes under cryptogams. Now we will see some general characteristics of thallophyta. These plants grow mainly in water. They do not have specific root, stem, leaves, or flower. third point you can say that they are autotrophic because they can prepare their own food since chlorophyll is present in them so they can prepare their own food next point these plants usually are soft and fiber like body so these are the some general characteristics of thallophyta now we are going to study specifically spirogera also if you observe the spirogera the body of the spirogera is filamentous in structure and it is present in water when you lift the spirogera it is slippery to touch now when you observe the spirogera you will see rectangular shaped cells these are the rectangular shaped cells which you can see the outer part of the spirogera is called as an cell wall the function of cell wall is to give protection and cell wall has two layers the first layer will be called as an pectin and the second layer will be called as a cellulose then inside the cell wall uh, in the rectangular cell you can have cytoplasm and inside that cytoplasm you can see a coil shaped structure this coil shaped structure will be called as a chloroplast as the name suggests chloroplast will have chlorophyll which is responsible to carry out photosynthetic activity now inside the chloroplast you can also see a round shaped structures 
his round shaped structures will be called as an pyrenoid now what is the role of pyrenoid pyrenoid contains enzyme ribulose which helps in carbon dioxide fixation so ribulose is found to be present in all types of pyrenoids next inside the cytoplasm there is one more organelle which is called as a nucleus and the role of nucleus is to control the activity of the cell so in this way we today we had studied about division thallophyta the next division of bryophyta and teridophyta we are going to see in a, my next video hope you have understood thank you very much